What's up guys? Welcome back to Horsepower and Pizza. My name is Bailey. For the first time in a long time today, I'm going to be working on my 2014 BMW 435i. I really hate that this car has taken the back burner for so long. I have all these parts for it. It's been sitting here. I haven't really driven it much this year, but I'm really excited to start working on it and get out and enjoy it a little bit more. On today's video, I will be installing the Burger Motorsports oil catch can. In short, an oil catch can works by rerouting the PCV line. It basically serves as a filter for the air coming out of the PCV. Sometimes there's oil and other contaminants in that air and the catch can works as a filter. So it'll filter that oil and blow by and whatever out before it reroutes the air back into the intake. If you don't have the catch can in there, it will just reroute out of the PCV into the intake, which can cause premature detonation and all sorts of other buildups and issues like that. I bought this one from Burger. It ran me about $215 shipped. It had pretty good reviews, so we'll install it and we'll go from there. I'll set up the GoPro for a time lapse, but the first thing I need to do is take the engine vanity cover off. So the first thing you need to do is remove this hose that comes out of right here. Before you do any of this, you're gonna wanna order this. If yours makes this noise, it's probably brittle and already broken. Luckily for me, I knew that and already ordered it. So I'm gonna show you from here, but I have the part number and a link to it in the description so you can pick that up. Probably best to check before you go to do the install because if you find out that that's broken and this is your only car, you're gonna be in a tough spot. I would make sure yours isn't broken and if it is, I would order it. There are a few clips on here. That one just broke off, unfortunately. Doesn't really matter because I have a new one, but we will try as carefully as we may to get them off. I'm gonna have to get a screwdriver or something to get under those, but they are kind of brittle. So it's no surprise that the rest of it did break. I'm sorry this is kind of bright. The only shop light that I have is LED and it's showing up brighter than it needs to. After you unclip the top from here, you're gonna have to follow the hose down in hard for me to show it to you. It goes in down in underneath there. There's a flange that looks like this that has one T25 Torx head screw in. It's kind of tough to get to, but once you get that out, you can gently wiggle that and pull it out and you're gonna have to unclip this sensor and then just undo the steps that you did with the new one. I would imagine this is the hose from factory. So this has about 75,000 miles worth of life out of it. And this is the end that connects to the crankcase. There's definitely some oil gunk in there. And that's just what we're trying to avoid going back into the intake and the valve train. The new hose is the same thing. It comes with the O-rings already on the connections. So I'm going to start by clipping the sensor back into this one and running the bolt down in on the bottom. So when you open the burger oil catch can kit up, open the box, catch can is right here. Flip this back, there's your silicone hose and your mounting bracket. This is just your legal disclaimers and guides to get to the digital install guides and all that. The burger mounting bracket looks like this, CNC machined. And all you gotta do is remove this bolt here with either the outside hex or a T40 Torx. Bolt that down right on top of that and then you mount the catch can in this slot here. I put the bracket in here. I left this loose because I want to be able to adjust it to where I want it. And I ran the bracket underneath these hoses because I didn't want to interfere with whether or not they get damaged or broken over time from being flexed a way that they shouldn't be. The catch can itself has these two drilled and tapped holes on top that had these two socket head cap screws in. The hex in the top of those socket head cap screws is three millimeters, so I have a T-handle. And all you need to do to mount this is hold it up under the slotted side of the bracket. Those two bolts will go down through like so. And you just have to put those in their respective tapped holes on top of the catch can. So now that that's in, I didn't tighten this one up yet, but you kind of have to put it in at an angle here just because of how the hoses and everything down here are and clearance issues. But now you take your new PCV hose, there's a side labeled out and a side labeled in. 
It'll only fit on the outside. I need to try to move that so I can get the hose onto it. And because this hose has clips and an O-ring, it takes a little bit of work to get it to seat. Get the clips over that lip. It's not gonna come off of there. Hose is still flexible. And then on this side labeled in, you have the silicone hose that came with the kit. You put the small end on there and the big end will fit on up here. I would personally choose to add hose clamps to those. They didn't include any. So I will be tossing those on at a later date. It doesn't say anything about them and nobody else's video that I have watched has done them, but I will definitely do those in the future. Now, because of how much larger this is and fits outside, in order to put your engine vanity cover back on there, you're going to have to modify it. You can basically mark it here and just trim it down along the side and like box it out. I currently do not have a Dremel tool here at the garage. It is at work. So I am leaving that step out for today as well. So the last step I have is to just tighten this T40 Torx back up. And that's an install, boys and girls. All in all, the hardest part of the install was replacing that hose. So if your hose is good, you'll be fine. You'll be done in probably 15, 20 minutes. It only took me about half an hour and I had to replace the hose. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. If you wanna support, head over to Instagram at Horsepower Pizza or www.horsepowerandpizza.com. I have stickers, shirts, hats, all sorts of stuff. I'm dropping new merch on October 23rd. These hats will be part of that lineup. They're camo back, mesh back trucker hats. And they're gonna be a lot cheaper than the Carhartt hats that I did back in the spring because I knew there were a lot of people that wanted hats but didn't want to pay that kind of money, which I understand. I appreciate all your support. Until next week, peace out. Build it for you.